what's going on guys, it's Jay Mass and I'm back again with another dope New England adventure. And currently we're hiking deep in the woods of the White Mountain National Forest here in the state of New Hampshire. And you know, I've come to the White Mountains many times over the years. It has some of the most breathtaking and scenic natural beauty in all of New England. But today we're actually gonna be exploring a part of the White Mountains I've personally never been to. So we're currently in the town of Lincoln, New Hampshire, walking along the beautiful Lincoln Woods Trail. It's actually located in the Pemijawasset Wilderness, which is a very remote part of the White Mountains, deep in the woods. And we're gonna be checking out a pretty cool abandoned site that's actually right off a trail in the Pemijawasset Wilderness. So why don't you guys join me as we walk over to our final destination. Well guys, after a five mile hike through the Pemijawasset Wilderness, we finally arrived at our destination. And you can actually see it directly behind me, an abandoned railroad bridge deep in the middle of the woods. Now, I'll get into more specific details about the bridge itself very soon, but first off, I just wanna tell you about the railroad that it actually serviced. So this bridge, which is known as Trestle 16, once serviced the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad which was a logging railroad that operated between 1893 and 1948. Now the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad was established by James E. Henry, and as I stated, was a logging railroad with many logging operations and locomotives using the tracks and crossings. Now the reason it's called Trestle 16 is because it was located right beside Logging Camp 16, which is actually one of 24 logging camps located throughout the wilderness we're exploring today. So Trestle 16 served nearby logging camp 16 16 of 24. so we're going to get started and check out the bridge itself it's a really cool abandoned site deep in the white mountains but um you just need to know that between 1893 and 1948 this was a logging railroad that was pretty active and pretty crucial for the white mountains logging industry today completely abandoned and unused in fact you might have noticed in the beginning montage where i was hiking through the woods you might have seen many remnants of old abandoned railroad tracks well, that's because the Lincoln, Wo the Lincoln Woods Trail, which is the trail that I was hiking along, is actually one of the former railroad tracks of the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad. And you could have seen many abandoned remnants of that railroad. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, we're gonna get started and check out this abandoned railroad bridge here in the town of Lincoln, New Hampshire, located deep in the woods of the Pemajawasset Wilderness. Let's get started. Hey guys, I just wanna come in here really quick and say that as of a week ago, I've officially opened up channel memberships on the JMS YouTube channel. So if you love my stuff and you love what I do and you wanna support me in the channel, for $1.99 a month, you can become a channel member, AKA an explorer. So for all the members who join, I'm gonna be providing you guys with exclusive content from videos to community posts to polls, maybe live streams, stuff like that. So if you wanna join me and support me in my journey, for $1.99 a month, you can become a channel member, AKA an explorer. And I just want to thank my very first two channel members who already joined the team, Adam Jaguer and Hello Gypsy. Thank you guys for becoming channel members. I really appreciate it. I'm going to say your names every single time I make a video now. So if you want your name said in every video, for $1.99 a month, become a channel member. And let's get on with the exploration. All right, guys. So currently we're at the base of the abandoned Trestle 16 Railroad Bridge. And as you can probably make out, the entire structure is made out of wood, other than some sheet metal at the very top. But this is a pretty much entirely wooden structure. And it's a really interesting relic of the past. Now, as I mentioned, the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad was established as early as 1893. However, Trestle 16 was not built until the early 1900s, more specifically, probably around 1906 or 1907. And this Trestle 16 railroad bridge operated for several decades, having many logging locomotives crossing it up until 1946 
which was its very last recorded use. Now, one interesting thing when you go up close to it is you can see there are a lot of wood carvings on the bridge. Now, obviously, I don't condone this. This is basically unacceptable vandalism of a historic structure, but I will say one interesting thing is a lot of these carvings are pretty old. You can see this one's from 1997. This one's from 1996. So while I don't condone the uh, vandalism of a historic railroad bridge, it's a pretty interesting time capsule of who's been here. But yeah, nonetheless, this is a abandoned railroad bridge. And Trestle 16, as I mentioned, gets the name for being located right next to Logging Camp 16, one of 24 logging camps in the area. But it also does go by another name, and that's Black Brook Bridge. And for obvious reasons, it gets that name from crossing Black Brook, which is this brook right here. This is Black Brook. Now, Black Brook itself is actually a tributary of the East Branch Pemigewasset River, which I'll give you a look at is right over here. And the East Branch Pemigewasset River leads to the name East Branch and Lincoln Railroad. So as you can see right over here, that's the East Branch Pemigewasset River, and this is Black Brook feeding right into it. And Trestle 16 crossed Black Brook. Now, one thing I do want to show you, this is the sad part, which I'll go into a little more depth about later, but as you can see, Trestle 16 has unfortunately collapsed. Now, this was not man-made or done by humans. This was actually completely natural just because of its age and wear and tear, but sadly, Trestle 16 has collapsed over Black Brook. Only some portions of it are surviving and standing, like this portion right here. But this is actually a pretty recent collapse. I'll go into more detail about that shortly, though, but pretty interesting nonetheless to see this historic railroad bridge crossing Black Brook here in the middle of the White Mountains. So while James E. Henry established the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad itself, Trestle 16 was built under the supervision of Levi Dumas, again, most likely between 1906 and 1907, but definitely in the early 1900s. And this is a top facing view of the bridge. While the bridge itself is primarily made of wood, you can see some sheet metal on the top right here. And this thing has obviously weathered many New England storms. I mean, look at how rough the shape of this thing is. It's completely torn apart back there. You can see vegetation and leaves and branches and trees growing all over it. I mean, this thing is in rough shape. It was last used in 1946, which means it was last maintained in 1946. So this thing has effectively been abandoned for a, well over 80 years. It's been abandoned for quite some time now. Pretty cool stuff. Now, interesting thing I want to show you. So this bridge at one point would have connected right here. You know, locomotives and trains would have crossed it. And this little pathway right here would have been one of the railroad tracks, part of the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad, chugging through the White Mountains. Now, today, this is a abandoned trail, actually. I'm actually not on one of the active trails. This is an abandoned trail jutting off of Bond Cliff Trail, which itself juts off of Wilderness Trail and the uh, Lincoln Woods Trail. So there's actually several trails I had to take to get here. But this is an abandoned trail, which was once part of the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad. Pretty interesting. So let's see if we can get another view over here. It's obviously uh, very dense with the foliage because it is summertime after all. Also, I gotta say super humid and muggy day today. I mean, it was raining this morning. You can definitely tell it's pretty wet in here. All right, so here's another view of the top. See all the sheet metal up there. A lot of it is caving in. I mean, I hate to be a cynic right now, but I don't see this lasting much longer. And in a moment, I'll get into how it collapsed because it is pretty sad. It was pretty recent. So as a result, I sadly don't see this Trestle 16 railroad bridge being up anymore. I mean, it really is under some serious decay, but it's a really interesting piece of New Hampshire's White Mountains logging history. Okay, so how did this portion of Trestle 16 over here collapse? Well, I should say that although it did collapse pretty recently, it actually stood for quite a long time. You know, the White Mountains is no stranger to storms and severe weather, and this thing has survived many natural disasters. It actually survived the flood of 1927 when the Black Brook actually flooded. It survived that. Later on, it would also survive Tropical Storm Irene in 2011, which also devastated the White Mountains. But despite surviving many natural disasters from floods to hurricanes to tropical storms, it finally met its match in 2018. I believe around May or June 2019, this portion right here that crosses the Black Brook unfortunately collapsed 
and there's really no other blame than its age and decay. I mean, this thing has been sitting here unused since 1946, had many decades of service in the early 1900s. It kind of just met its match, you know what I mean? Succumbed to the elements, but yeah, as you can see, this thing has been collapsed since 2018, so really not that long ago. But it's kind of interesting, you can actually see remnants of the stands right over there that held the bridge. I'm forgetting the terminology for it off the top of my head. Uh, but you can actually see what held up the bridge, those cobblestone slash concrete stands right there. Um, that's where the bridge once stood. We're gonna get a little closer, but yes, this collapsed in 2018, not too long ago. So hopefully this doesn't go anytime soon either. Sorry if it gets a little loud right over here. We got the rushing waters of Black Brook, so I'm gonna be yelling a bit so you guys can hear me, but I did just wanna show you these beautiful views of the rushing brook right here, Black Brook, which would once have rushed right under Trestle 16. And this is the collapsed portion of the bridge. Again, this thing collapsed in 2018, really not that long ago. At one point though, even before 2018, this bridge would have spanned all the way across here. This is the only remaining portion of Trestle 16 that's still standing. The rest, no longer standing. Very sad to see. But I'm still glad that it's here. It's still a unique glimpse into the uh, logging industry's history that was once crucial, honestly, in the White Mountains. You know, today the White Mountains are a national forest, open to the public for recreational use, protected wilderness, you know, conservation efforts, all that is important here. But you have to understand back in the day, you know, in the 19th and 20th centuries, the logging industry had a major foothold here. I mean, all of the precious and beautiful trees we see today were once uh, used by logging industries for profit. And ultimately, Trestle 16 and the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad aided in that logging industry. So it's up to you to decide if you uh, support that or not, but it is still nonetheless a fascinating piece of history. I'm trying to cross through the Black Brook right now, actually, to get a closer look. Kind of tricky, but uh, yeah, check this out. The cobblestone and concrete structure right there, pretty cool stuff. We're gonna head up there in a second to get another look. That's all the debris right there. And then this massive portion. One thing I'm wondering is when this collapsed, I wonder if a ton of materials went down into the East Branch Pemajoasset River. Cause there's like almost like some sort of waterfall or cascade going down. It must have brought so much debris down, you know what I mean? I don't know, pretty cool to see though. All right, so now we're on the other side of the brook. Um, as of today, you know, this is just an abandoned portion of the trail network that runs through the Pema Joasset Wilderness. But at one point, this pathway would have actually been a portion of the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad, and it would have connected to Trestle 16 right over here, which would cross Black Brook. Again, completely collapsed on this side, but you can kind of make out what it would have looked like at one point. The railroad tracks would have crossed right here, and then you would have had Trestle 16 spanning the brook. You can still kind of make it out today. Um, pretty cool looking though, but very sad that it's collapsed. Also, I just want to say guys, I'm really sorry for how buggy it is. It is so buggy in these woods right now. Uh, you probably notice mosquitoes flying everywhere. So I apologize for that. Let's get a closer walk. Oh, now you can see, check this out. Okay, now you can really see the damage that was done. So this is the collapsed portion of Trestle 16. Look at all that debris, rotten and decayed wood folded over sheet metal. You can even see nails and spikes. Even some of the concrete in that cobblestone has kind of fallen down. I mean, damn, this thing has really suffered a lot of damage. So sad. This is a crucial piece of White Mountain's history, just kind of gone, you know? And like I said, I really don't see that portion of the bridge standing much longer just because of the horrible shape and condition it's in. You can even kind of make it out from here. But still cool to see. I mean, this is a really interesting hidden gem and I really do mean hidden gem by the way it took me five miles to get here which is about roughly an hour 45 minutes um, it's definitely a deep hike it's an easy hike not hard at all but you do have to go deep in the woods so uh, just letting you guys know if you want to make it out here it's a five mile trek it took me about an hour 45 minutes uh, not too bad though but it is a beautiful hike a lot of gorgeous scenery and as I mentioned you get to see remnants of the abandoned tracks you can actually see the, even the railroad spike sometimes. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, we're gonna head back there, get some last minute looks, and then I think that about does it. I know it's a pretty small site, but I did wanna document this historic structure. 
for however much longer it lasts. So as we take one final look at the abandoned Trestle 16 railroad bridge from the bottom, I do just want to tell you guys one more interesting fact. So I read this online. I haven't really come across it much myself yet, but I did read online that there are actually remnants of the many logging camps scattered around the woods, and you can actually find them while you're hiking. So this one was located nearby logging camp 16, which I haven't come across yet, but I did see online that there are actually remnants of that camp. And by remnants, I mean you can find old rusty tools, you can find railroad spikes, you know, you can find like little bits of machinery, you can even find like screws and stuff. So there are remnants of the camps that were once scattered around the woods here. I did read that online and I also did read that there's a hefty fine if you get caught stealing the remnants. They want to leave them there as little archaeological sites. So uh, if you see anything, don't take it. But I haven't come across anything myself, though I'm hoping that I do find Camp 16 nearby. It'd be cool to see the site, you know. But this is a really cool structure. I really love the uh, architecture and design of this bridge. I feel like it's something you just don't really see nowadays. Obviously a lot of old school bridges, you know, old wooden bridges, especially throughout New England, have this sort of trestle design in the bottom, but you don't really see it that much anymore, especially with modern day bridges, most of which are built out of uh, steel and iron and concrete anyways, but cool to see a wooden bridge like this. Actually, one thing I didn't show you guys was the bottom, the very bottom, check that out. I don't know how well you guys can see, but that's pretty cool. You could see all of the early 20th century craftsmanship right there. Yeah, built in the early 1900s, supervised by Levi Dumas. That's so cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Wood is definitely rotting. Wow. But that was pretty cool. This was a Trestle 16 nestled deep in the woods of the White Mountains, specifically in the Pemigewasset wilderness area. And let's just get a brief look at uh, the East Branch right here. I mean, beautiful, beautiful area. Let's walk down this little trail right here. I also just gotta say, in terms of natural beauty, I mean, this place is unparalleled. I am a massive White Mountains fan. It is gorgeous up here, check that out. Mountains right over there with the fog rolling in. Oh, beautiful, love it. So I would definitely recommend taking a hike out here, even if not just for the history or the archeological sites, then the beautiful breathtaking nature like this. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been Jay Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. And in today's video, we checked out an abandoned railroad bridge from the early 20th century, Trestle 16, also known as Black Brook Bridge. Now this was a really cool find. I actually didn't find out about this place until very recently, like two weeks ago. You know, I found out about two weeks ago online and the moment I saw it, I'm like, I gotta get out here. So I booked a campsite in the White Mountains, went to the Pemigewasset Wilderness, took the five mile trek, and it was worth it to check out this abandoned railroad bridge, a piece of New Hampshire's logging industry history. Cool stuff. So as I mentioned, Trestle 16 was built in the early 1900s, most likely between 1906 and 1907 under the supervision of Levi Dumas. Although the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad, which was the logging railroad that it serviced, was established by James E. Henry, operating between 1893 and 1948. Now this bridge itself was last recorded in use in 1946, but it's still serviced for many, many decades, had a very long and illustrious career. And it's cool to see it now. I mean, it's sad that a portion of it collapsed in 2018, but at least we still got this portion right here standing. And I hope it stands for much longer. This is an incredibly rich piece of the White Mountains history right here. And I really want more people to come see it. So if you're ever in the area and you don't mind going on long hikes, highly recommend it. The hike itself is pretty easy, honestly very flat most of the ways. Uh, once you get past this though, then it starts becoming uh, more mountainous, but I haven't reached that part yet. Uh, but yeah, this is the Trestle 16, part of the East Branch and Lincoln Railroad here in the town of Lincoln, New Hampshire, deep in the White Mountains. Super cool stuff. I loved it. And as always guys, if you love checking out abandoned sites, urban exploration, traveling New England and beyond, I'm always doing it on the channel. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. Or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial. That's at jmassofficial. And man, these bugs are crazy. Oh my God. Did you notice how many bugs there were the whole video? Mosquitoes flying everywhere. It's crazy stuff. Uh, but it was worth it though. <laughs> so as always, guys, my name is Jay Mass. Catch you on the next one. Trestle 16, White Mountains. Catch you later. Peace.